Hello everyone, welcome back to the weekly market updates. I am Shaurya Kutkavad. So this week, Indian markets break their upward momentum and gave a very sharp correction. And as there is a very famous and old saying about the equity market, that they go up through stairs and come down through the lift. We have experienced exactly the same this week as whatever gains we have accumulated in past five weeks, we gave up all in just four trading sessions. There were multiple reasons and factors in play. The first and foremost is the recent escalation in the tension between Israel and Iran. Jaha Israel already Lebanon mein Hezbollah ke against fight kar raha hai, usi ke response mein Iran has fired almost 200 missiles on the Israeli air bases. This has escalated the tension among Middle East region and then definitely it is going to affect the India. To put it in clear perspective, we can say that Iran's recent missile attack has wiped out almost 10 lakh crore rupees of investors' money from the Indian markets. Along with the geopolitical situation and the rising tension in the Middle East, there is one more issue that has come from the regulatory authority. SEBI has come up with a new circular where they have tightened up the FNO trading rules and regulations, which has further restated the SEBI's mission to curb the speculation in FNO trading and to protect the interest of retail traders. This might also be a reason that why FIS and hedge funds have intensified their selling into the Indian stock markets. Isi ke saath China stimulus package bhi ek recurrent ho sakta hai ki momentum chasing funds apna paisa India se nikal kar China mein laga rahe hain. Going forward, Indian investors will be keen to understand that how this geopolitical situations will turn out as further escalation in this matter might interrupt with the supply chain of oil to India as well as the global. Here we need to understand this point very clearly that although we are not directly impacted with any of this conflict, but as a country, the oil and gas is a very important commodity for us and most of it we imported through the state of Hamas. Or in case Israel or Iran ki ladai yahan se aage badhti hai aur Israel faisla karta hai Iran ki oil facilities pe hamla karne ka, us case mein global supplies or Indian supplies impact ho sakti hai. All major indices, be it Bank Nifty, Nifty, Mid Cap, Small Cap, or Sensex, they all have given very sharp corrections in the past four sessions. Jaha Nifty next week 26,277 ke highs pe tha, wahi is week humne 25,000 ke levels ko bhi break kar diya. Bank Nifty has also given almost 3,000 points in the last four sessions. And Mid Cap and Small Cap indexes have corrected to the tune of 4 to 5 percent in the past one week. Going forward, 25,000 level for the Nifty is going to be very crucial. If we break down this level, they might get to see more declines in coming trading sessions. For this week, sector performance has completely reversed from the past week as the earlier week all the sectors were in green. This week, all the sectors except metals have closed in the red territory with negative gains of almost 4 to 8%. The biggest loser was construction with more than 8% of negative returns followed by consumption and private banks. The Bank of England has given hints that if the inflation will stay in control, in coming meetings they might see more interest rate cuts. In the recent conflict of Middle East, the US has shown complete support to the Israeli government and said that they have all the rights to retaliate to Iran's missile attack but provided that they should not target the nuclear sites of the Iran. It is surprising to see that US is directly involved in this inflict. Still, their markets have not given that correction what we have seen in the Indian markets. This week, Dow Jones cable point sell 3% ke negative returns ke saath hua, wahi Nasdaq ne week on week basis pe 1.29% ke negative returns clock kiye. For this week alone, FIS have sold more than 31,000 crore rupees of stocks in the cash market and their selling spree has intensified in past four trading sessions. The significance of quantum can be understood by this fact only that in yesterday's session only, FIS have sold more than 1 lakh crore rupees in the Indian stock markets. In yesterday's session only, they have sold more than 15,000 crore rupees of stocks in cash market and also sold in the stock futures, index options and index futures. Ek hi din mein jahan FIS ki net long position 3.6 lakh thi, wo ghat kar 1.8 lakh pe pounch gai. Although domestic institutions have tried their level best to compensate for this FIS selling and they have bought more than 31,000 crore rupees of stocks in the cash market, but agar FIS ki selling isi tere continue rahi aur quantum bharta gaya, to DIs will definitely face a problem to compensate for it. As we have been seeing from past few weeks that gold and silver and precious metals have been going 
into the upward trajectory only and this recent escalation in the Middle East has further fueled up the rally in the gold and silver as both the precious metal have clocked more than 2.5% of gains on the week on week basis. Now let's talk about the brand crude which is the very important commodity for the Indian economy which has gained more than 10% in past 4 trading sessions because of the ongoing conflict between Iran and Israel. Going forward, if the state of Hormuz has any kind of supply disruption, so India may have oil prices bad jayengi, which will definitely going to escalate the inflation. Google Pay has tied up with Muthut Finance to give gold backed loans and tied up with Aditya Billa Finance for personal loans through the Google Pay app. India ne apne digital journey mein ek aur milestone achieve kiya hai jisse UPI transaction year on year basis pe 31% tak bad gaye hain and it is surprising to know that average daily transaction has reached to a 68800 crore rupees. India's GST collection has also rose by 6.5% on year on year basis and reached to 1.73 lakh crores in the month of September. India's manufacturer PI number has fallen by a very small margin and reached to a level of 56.7 as compared to the 57.1 for the previous month. In the end we would like to suggest our investors that please don't get panic in this turmoil and stay focused and stay invested in fundamentally good options. This is it for this week. We'll come up with more such important information next week. Till that time, stay tuned with us. Thank you so much. Jai Hind.